to it pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Um, another one was how do I pre-filter job ads? Because uh, I may end up looking through loads and loads of ads, um, and some of them are not relevant. And the answer was try and find patterns in the data which you can use to build up exclusion terms in the query and save that query and, and kind of do the kind of things that I was talking about earlier on. That was kind of a query one. Music, how do we find music influencers who are not journalists and not musicians um, uh, who are kind of uh, potentially discovering or, or, or helping to discover new bands? And the kind of ideas that we came up with there were search for lists of bands and find the kinds of similar bands and find, find the kinds of people that are talking about them. Um, have a look at last FM top users, and if possible, we didn't, I can't actually figure out how to do this, but I mean, there, there's got to be a way. Um, exclude the stuff that you've seen before. So it would be great if you could just do a search and say, uh, exclude all of the things that, um, that I've kind of tagged. Um, so I, I'm, that's not very helpful because I haven't got a solution for you there. But, but, but the, uh, the, kind of, the answer was define the topic by unusual brand names, and you'll find people that are talking about them. And then, and then kind of use that as a discovery mechanism. And then, do you want to come and talk about your sure. one, which was, uh, what about finding a single metric for online brand strength or brand uh, kind of uh, activity, I guess? Yeah, so basically the question came up in relation to uh, offline, they have brand trackers, so everyone can find out what their brand is doing scale of 1 to 100, okay, last month does a 72, hope I'm higher this month. So online, how do we, and particularly in uh, social media, how do we do that same thing for them to tell them that as your agency, as your listening partner, we're doing a good job, you're doing better, or in the event that just goes down. Uh, so there's this one site, uh, Social Mention, that has four metrics on there that are pretty good. Strength, passion, sentiment, and reach. And so strength is the, uh, the presence of mention within a day, and so the likelihood for that to show up. Passion is the likelihood of a fan um, kind of mentioning your brand more than once. Uh, sentiment, obviously, is just a ratio of positive to negative. Uh, and reach being the unique authors versus the total mentions. And so if there's just, a, a, obviously, a single metric, a CMO would love that, and then they just have one number they can focus on. But even if we, if we can get it down to four, then there's kind of some standards in place because they don't want to sift through a 10 to 15 page deck on uh, just this is what your Twitter number was this month, this is the sentiment. So that's pretty much it. Um, I guess we could open that up if anybody has ideas later. Yeah, okay. Thanks, guys. Any comments on those while we're on? Yep. Were there kind of like an industry trade association of some sort probably have to set that standard and maintain it because? What, yeah, we, what we, private business entity or for profit would you trust to do that or trust the research and the definitions of those terms and how that would be determined across the board? Agreed. I think that sounds like something that should be yeah, taken up I mean, in that arena. It would, I would completely agree. Um, who that body would be is not entirely clear. Yeah, like, is there like um, a social media association? But, uh, but it would be great. It would be, uh, one would well, be somewhere an example. Um, but uh, it would be, it would be a, I think, a good thing to do, but I think it's going to take time. Yeah. Not only do you have to define it, then you have to implement it across the board in all of the yeah. applications, which is going to be easier for some and, and not for others, right? Yeah. But still, I think it's, yeah. So this is like, like cloud trying to become the influence yeah. uh, sort of indicator. And what tends yeah. to happen is that, in, at least in tech, in the tech space, mm -hmm. large companies historically have kind of grabbed yeah. that. So Microsoft is the standard for sharing documents through this kind of Word document and so on and so forth. Um, and Google's the standard for this, and, and they use their kind of corporate power to that make those things the happen. Yeah. Um, but then you've got WC3 with, H2, mm -hmm. with the HTML standards and all those other mm -hmm. um, standards, which are open standards, which are really good, and they help, they basically help the industry, but it takes a hell of a long time, yeah. and it does take somebody with some clout to well, do Well, probably the um, closest might be Facebook with their like. With their, with their, with their <coughs> people graph, their, their yeah. social graph, you know, they want to basically have that as the, as the uh, and Facebook connects as the, as the open ID. Mm -hmm. going to stop us? Probably no one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Charles and gang. Um, Louis, do you want to yep. show us what your guys are up to? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Here you go. Great page. Yeah.
<laughs> you get the page. Yeah, don't forget the... It was more like a chat, but we had we some great ideas. <laughs> wow. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um. Where, 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 where is the thing? So, there, were, there, were, there were several questions and several, several points. The, the main thing that is really interesting is that we started to talk about monitoring, and maybe 70% of the conversation was about engagement. So we can engage with people. Uh, the first, I think the b first big issue we had was uh, where to start. What should I do? How can I start a monitoring? What, what should I do first? And we had several people that uh, had already uh, did an audit of the, the reputation of a brand, but had like 600 pages? 600 pages. 600 pages. 600 pages. Uh, lots of KPIs, lots of, uh, of interesting stuff, but mm -hmm. you don't know what to do with it. So yeah. what we thought is that it could, the most important thing is to, is, is to tell story, to really understand the story of the brand, of your brand online, and to be able then to take action out of it not to yeah, look at hundreds of metrics. It's good to look at metrics, but what can you, can you, what can you tell on top of those, uh, those metrics? Uh, the other big question was, uh, so what's next? So what? You, I monitor, I have some reports, weekly reports, monthly reports, but so what? What can I do next? Uh, community management is, of course, something that it seems to be very important. Uh, you work at the Carrot Builder and you are implementing this and it uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, seems to be something really, really big. And uh, yeah, the question is, uh, shall we do this internally or externally? Um, if you have a good experience, maybe you can share with, uh, with uh, everybody about um, the, the agency that was fired because of, uh, there, there was a problem with, uh, with uh, external uh, offshoring the, the, the community management. Maybe not mentioning the agency, but... Um, well, 